Hey guys, this is Cuber, and today I will be doing a full tutorial on Pyraminx notation, including lowercase letters. So I know the Pyramix notation can be a little confusing if you've never seen it before, but it actually is pretty simple. Also on my YouTube statistics, I've been seeing that some people have been searching for it and come across my Pyramix tutorial video, but I didn't really explain notation there, so I'm going to do it here. First of all, when you're doing Pyramix, you need to turn a face toward you, not an edge, not a corner. You need to hold it like this, so that one of the corners is on the top, and a face is facing you. So there are four tips or corners, whichever you want to call them. So the first is U. As in 3x3 three three or many other cubes, U will be clockwise and U prime. Remember, these are uppercase letters. I'll get to the lowercase ones later. Is counterclockwise. L for left will be the bottom left corner, clockwise, and L prime, counterclockwise. R, R prime. And remember, you're doing this as if you were looking at the corner straight on. So when you're turning this, B will be like this, not like this. It's not as if you're looking at the face when you're turning it clockwise is if you're looking at the corner straight on. And then B prime. Remember B is for back and not bottom. So now for the lowercase letters. If you see a lowercase u, that is a lot like the uppercase u, except you only turn the tip. It's still in the same direction, but you only turn the tip, you don't turn any of the middle pieces. So u, well, little u, little u prime, or if you don't want to say little u, lowercase u, whatever you want to call it, little l, little l prime, little r, little r prime, little b, and little b prime. The last thing about Pyraminx notation is the faces. These don't have official names, but this is what people generally call them. Again, it's similar to 3x3, three three. and for the left and right faces, they would be the same thing as the corners, so you kind of need to be careful. If you're seeing official notation, though, when you're doing a scramble, then it's probably for the corners only, because the faces don't have official names. So if the faces, F for front, clockwise, and counterclockwise is F prime. And then, technically, this would be L again. It's still seen as a uppercase L, but it wouldn't be the corner. It kind of depends on what you're looking at, and you need to check to see what kind of notation it is. But normally, you would just be turning the corners. R, and then D, and D prime for the bottom. That's basically all for Pyraminx notation. There aren't any other moves, since this is a normal Pyraminx. The Pyraminx that I used in this video was the, I believe, the Z Magnetic Pyraminx. It turns pretty well, and I would definitely recommend it. Although, if you're trying to lube it or something, it's pretty hard to get the pieces out. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.